And the plasma ball, the beautiful tendrils of, of light that we see, those are the photons coming from electrons going back into orbit around some of the other nuclei or, or uh, positive ions. In the aurora, the beautiful shimmering pictures uh, of, the, of the light, that is coming from electrons going back into orbit. So I guess what I'm trying to tell you, and the same thing with the candle flame. The candle flame, we're seeing the flame, we're seeing the light coming from the electrons going into orbit. So we never see the plasma itself, is what I'm trying to tell you. All we see are the photons that are generated from electrons recombining with the ions. And in a, in a tube where you're putting energy in, you're always reionizing some fraction of these atoms. And then through chance collisions, some fraction of them are going back into orbit around atoms and releasing photons. And then the uh, energy we're putting in is, of course, reionizing, and then we're getting recombination, and we're reionizing and recombination. And there's a steady state where we see a, a light emanating from the uh, substance at a certain rate because this ionization process is happening and the recombination process is also happening at exactly the same time. So that's the takeaway I wanted you to have. We don't see the plasma. We don't. In fact, if you had a purely fully ionized plasma with a gas tube and you dump gigawatts of energy into it, of power into it, and you ionized every single atom that was in there. In other words, if you had a, a gas full of hydrogen and you ionized every single atom so that every atom was a free electron and a free proton and none of these ever recombined because the energy was so high they could never recombine and go back into orbit like this, then we would never see anything. It would look completely clear. So the highest energy plasmas, we don't actually see them. We only see the after effects of the recombination. So the higher energy plasma is completely transparent. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.